Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, helping you make your game nights better. Tonight, I hope to help by showing you what you get in the box with this. This is a shiny new copy of Ven from The Op, who I do have to thank for sending us a review copy of this. Now, this is the Venn Diagram board game or party game. I would say it's a board game, but it's a, it's a party game that can be played in two modes, either as a team competitive game or as a cooperative game. It is a game about trying to get your uh, partners to guess clues based on images using the Venn Diagram theory. There's some really unique looking components in this, as far as I can tell. I haven't seen my own copy, but I did look at this online. And I'm looking forward to showing off exactly what you get in the box. So let's get to it. Here we have my copy of Ven from the Op. That all I've done at this point is crack the shrink on. Uh, so we're seeing, is this saying ages 10 plus, two or more players, 20 to 30 minutes. As expected for this type of game, this is more of a party game, a quick filler game about trying to get people to guess clues. Uh, it's got a pretty standard size box. Very striking back. I almost think the back. It sells the game more than the front does in this case. Let's take a look at what we got in here. So we start, I gotta say, striking, like, first appearance. You open the box, you're just like, boom. I like that. So these are the instructions. You can kind of see what we're going to see here. I don't want to spoil it, though. Look at this. This is it. Wow. I, I have been overwhelmed by large, expansive rule books. Ven, we are looking at five panels in a fold out here. A um, whole bunch of it just being how to set up, how to get things going, how to guess, how to work. Something to be said for simplistic games. Note this is the competitive and there's cooperative. So there you go. Three pages playing competitive, two pages playing cooperative. Boom. Short, simple, and to the point. Look at this. What? What is this? weird plastic circles which obviously the box insert is meant to hold all this in nice places didn't do so great at it we're going to move these aside so i can actually build one of these so you literally when playing this game are going to take three different colors and build your venn diagram of colors which are very reflective and you can see my camera what a weird i no they're not hard like, yes, um, these, these seem like something that a photographer would use. Um, they're stickier on one side, so I don't know if, like, one side's supposed to be the table side or not. But just bizarre. Now, all this is when you're playing is a place to play cards. You play cards here for your single meaning. Cards here that match both of these. Cards here that match both of these. Here that match both of these. And in the middle, if they apply to all three. The whole point is to get your team to guess your three words. Um, but what a weird component. This alone is just neat, like interesting. All right, let's move on to the rest of the stuff. Oh, I bumped my dragon. So what we have here, this seems to be the new thing with cards. Why is there only one? Sis. Oh, it's just thin. There we go. Okay, it was just very thin. So you're going to do this and you get a stack of cards. They're two-sided. They each have three words. So we have a bunch of word cards and what's going to happen is you're literally just going to do this there you go there's the 12 words and play this round you put them next to those component quality cards solid thickness they got a little bit of a coating on them um i don't think you're going to be able to find sleeves for these but it's a party game i don't think you care uh similarly we're going to have another set of cards that have numbers on them these should all be numbers yep that's exactly what they are so what's going to happen uh, this isn't meant to be a teach, but I'm just going to cover it quickly for people who are curious about this particular game. I say these are our word clues. If I was the clue giver, I am trying to get my team to guess electric, giant, and push. Now, how do you do that? The next deck of cards. Okay. The other thing the game comes with is standees for anyone who's played, you know, like code names. That's all that's for is so you can stand this up so you don't have to, you know, hold it while you're trying to give out clues. Score tokens. Um, this is your standard score token, and then there's the other side, so you pick your color for your teams. Those just go down here. It's a game to 12 points. 
Then we have, this is how you're giving clues. A bizarre. Let's put this. Oh, look, there's even a spot at the bottom. So just so you can see, there's a spot in the bottom for the, this here. Let's crack open this deck. Look at how many of these cards there are. It's a lot of cards. So here you have tarot sized cards with, I don't know, on them. There, there's a car. There's a silhouette of a woman. There's, there's a bird. On the other side, you've got a guitar yeti. No, a screaming lion, dude in plate mail coming out of a shield. Uh, you've got a dude with a banana that's shooting a peace sign, and so on. You have all of these bizarre pieces of art that the clue giver is going to put onto their Venn diagram to try to get their team to guess three words. This is the meat of the game, or these cards. Very unique, odd. Um, I think if they put this out again, they'd probably just use AI to generate it. Maybe they used an AI. It looks like people photoshopped multiple images together. It, it's weird. There's like emojis. Uh, card qualities, nice and decent. They're, they're fairly solid. Uh, again, these maybe you might want to sleeve. They do seem tarot size, but I don't actually know. What a weird mix of stuff. Like, the, the, there's a fox on a nose. Now, I will say, I bet you you could use cards from any of these games that have odd, whimsical card art. There are a few of them out there. So, yeah, a bunch of cards. So, that's it. Um, That basically also kind of covered the gameplay. But you're going to try to get your team to guess words based on what numbers you have using these cards on these most bizarre plastic Zen diagram thingies. Odd. So weird. I think you might be concerned about these getting folded. You would not want these to get folded. I don't think a crease would easily come out of them. Such a weird, that's why the box is so big, I guess. Um, to fit these in here. Um, I am going to do the quick. No, nothing underneath. Not that I expected there to be. Um, insert seems very functional. Though if they ever do put out an expansion, the only way it's going to fit is to toss this insert. Uh, there you have it. A very unique board game. Um, with components unlike many, uh, uh anything else I own, probably. Big, plastic, translucent filters, they look like. They use to make a Zen diagram, some functional cards with clues or numbers on them, a score track that also works as telling you what you're going to guess, and then a ridiculous amount. Just tell me how many, how many cards were on there? 200 surreal works of art. So 100 cards, two-sided, that you're going to place on the Venn diagram. I gotta say, this looks interesting. This looks like a lot of fun. Um, my daughter today, when I was driving her home from school, was talking about how she's taking Venn diagrams in science right now. So I think I got a bit of a teaching tool for her here as well as a game. Really looking forward to checking this one out. That is Ven from the Odd. Uh, very unique looking. What, what an odd game, I got to say. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Now, when I do try it out, you'll be able to find uh, my opinions on tabletopbellhop.com as well as on our YouTube, Twitch, and our podcast. Uh, you can find all of those looking for Tabletop. Just Google Tabletop Bellhop. You'll be able to find all our stuff. The website's tabletopbellhop.com. On Twitch, Twitter, everything, where username, tabletop, one word. Thank you for joining me for this look at um, a somewhat baffling board game, which is Venn from the Op, a party game all about Venn diagrams with some really wonky cards and interesting components. Thank you. Good night and game on.